today's tutorial, we're gonna be talking about the general settings in Zoho Marketing Automation so you know how to access it and what they actually do for you. So let's log in and I'll see you there. All right, now that we're logged in, let's go ahead and check out the general settings under the settings tab. Let's go down here to the bottom left and over here you can see all of these options under the general settings. So we have our profile, our company details, our notifications, our subscription, our compliance settings and managing our opt-in. So let's click on each one of those individually and see what they look like. So under our profile here, we can go in and update our information. This is just basic information on ourselves, on our business. We can change the region, we can change the city, we can change our first name, last name, formats, or we can change the country. So we're not gonna edit that now because this is a demo account for us, so it doesn't really matter. We should definitely be adding this and making sure that it all looks good. So let's go back to our settings and let's check out the company details. Again, there's more information here on the company details. You have your address, your website URL, phone, industry, privacy policy link, and terms of use. I'd really recommend putting these on here. They do help in the sense that you can include your privacy policy link and terms of use link as variables in different emails. So it can be important to have this in there and it's just one less thing you don't have to worry about. So make sure that you update this information and get set up. Let's go back to the settings. Let's check out the notifications tab. So over here we have different campaign notifications. So we wanna say based on uh, days, weeks, months, or once in two days, let's get this information and receive a report via email. So it does allow email reports of what our campaigns are doing, how they're operating. And then we also have a mailing list. So we can get notifications based on mailing lists and who's opt-in, who's deleted. We can set that up properly as well. So I'd recommend setting that up if it's something that is important to you. If not, it's fine, you can leave it. As long as you are still getting your information, it doesn't really matter. So over here, we can look at our subscription and what we're doing. Right now, you can see that we're on the Zoho One Enterprise license and that gives us this many leads. So you can go through and upgrade over here, change credit card details over here. So that'll just open up a new page to your billing details or if you wanna upgrade that again goes to the Zoho payments page. So it links all directly to that. Or you can also delete your account from here as well. So those are a few options there. And then we have our compliance settings, which is whether we are GDPR or HIPAA compliant. And so if you want to be compliant with that, you just turn these on. These settings will set up and make sure that your system is set up to make sure that you are compliant with these different rules and regulations. So, so that is important if these do apply to you, I really recommend doing it just to make sure. And it can't hurt to just be on the safe side and make sure you are GDPR and HIPAA compliant. That way you know you're always going to be compliant when sending out emails and you're never gonna be in the wrong and it'll be tracked as such. So that is one extra safety or security net on the back of your mind so you don't have to worry about spamming people or anything like that. If we go back to the settings, the last one I wanna talk about is managing our opt-in. Now, I mentioned in a previous tutorial that we had to go and talk with support to set up the double opt-in or single opt-in. This looks like this is a new option. I'm not sure if this is new to us only. It was only a few days ago we had to go and request it. So it seems like this is relatively new or maybe it hasn't been ruled out to every account yet, but this is where you go to manage your opt-in. You can set up your double opt-in or you can set up the single opt-in by disabling it. So you have a couple different options here and basically anyone that comes in is going to get this email the first time and they're going to have to subscribe again when it comes to your news list. This just makes sure that everyone who's getting added to your list actually want to be on it. So it helps keep your list more fresh and less spammy. So this is a good thing to do. I recommend doing it. However, I know there's a lot of businesses out there that this is just an extra step for their users that they're just not going to enjoy. A lot of people don't understand it and they don't know that they need to do it. So a lot of people are going to forget. So it's going to definitely cause some issues with building that list of yours. Now you can go in here and update it and change it to make it look nicer. So you can change the page, heading, body, button, and logo. You can save and and continue on from there. We're just gonna close this for the time being. You can also go over here and change the settings, the subject line, sender name, sending address, all that kind of good stuff. And that will make sure that your emails are going out properly to make sure that they are getting confirmed and going through the double opt-in procedure correctly. So that is it for this video. We've gone through all the general settings and we're gonna continue to dive into a few more of those settings in the next few tutorials. As always, make sure that you are subscribing to our channel, liking and commenting on all our videos. We wanna make sure that this content is getting out to everyone who needs to see it and hear it. And as always, feel free to subscribe to our Facebook and Instagram pages. We're building an awesome community and we can't wait to have you there. Bye for now.